Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a gentleman who's 75 years old, had pain in the anterior ankle, and the orthopedic surgeon, upon clinical evaluation, was worried about a tibialis anterior tendon rupture, and they're exactly right. And so anterior tibial tendon tears are often seen in the elderly people, but they can be seen in uh, young athletes. They have really strong contraction of the tibia tibialis anterior muscle. They can rupture. Also, if people take uh, Cipro or fluoroquinones, or steroids, or if they have diabetes, there's other risk factors that can cause weakening of the uh, any of the tendons. And in this patient, they had supposed mild trauma, and they're, again, they're in the elderly rate, uh, age, 75 years old, um, so they're a typical candidate for a tendon tear. And here we go with axial PD sequence to look for this. So in the axial PD sequence, we look along the medial side, then the lateral side, and then the anterior tendons and run through them really quick just to make sure they're intact. And so let's do that. This is the medial side, the Tom, Dick, and Harry. So these are the flexures on the medial side. Posterior tibial, flexor digitorum, flexor halysis. Again, Tom, Dick, and Harry. And on the lateral side, we have the perineus tendons, the perineus brevis and longus. You remember the brevis is in front because it's like Bruce Lee, brevis longus. And the perineus brevis and longus tendons are intact. And now we run to the front and run through these. And on this side, we should see the anterior tibial. There it is right there, not looking too good. It's a little bit too thick. And we have the extensor halysis, this little one right here. And this broad thing here is the extensor digitorum, the muscles there underneath it. But the anterior tibial doesn't look quite right. So we start up high. Looks almost normal here. As we come down, it looks funny, too gray. We get down to here, it just looks too gray. It should be the biggest, darkest one. Instead, it's, it, we don't see it at all right here. So it's ruptured. Now we're going to go to a sagittal view to confirm. Now here's the extensor halus. It's coming down here, this thin one. You can see it coming across. It looks like it's intact. If we go a little bit more medial, here we see the anterior tibial. It's lax, and the end is right here. It ends just over the anterior talus here. So it's completely torn, ruptured, and retracted back to the uh, talus. Now this attaches here distally on the first metatarsal base and also the medial cuneiform bone attaches to both of those typically. And the torn end was about right here we can see on another view. So a ruptured anterior tibial tendon with mild tendon retraction. And thank you very much.